Hey guys, Carl here. Um, I shot some motocross video over the weekend, and uh, because I'm completely incompetent, can't get it to work right, so there's going to be some random compilation video of autocross, some sweet photos of cars, and a little bit of me in a Hellcat action, so yeah, it's going to be pretty interesting. Uh, yeah, got to run a in a Tesla, got to run a Hellcat down the road. The video that I have is kind of shoddy because I did give it to the camera to Ryan, and Ryan does Ryan, so you know how that went. So, yeah. Uh, I'm probably not going to make an uh, outro, so yeah, you know what to do. fit me out of daisies the hub center's too big there's a set of 15 by 7 uh rpf ones or something in the shed with star specs on Ooh. that would be great that's what i first a hellcat now a tesla in ludicrous mode ready mm -hmm. holy crap that's not going to translate on camera well but Pretty cool. Hey, you guys, send me that video. I'll do it. It'll be on YouTube. Awesome. Wow. Look at that. Lower down. What's that? Lower down a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, I'm fuzzy face. This episode of Meeting Your Heroes, it's not a crushing disappointment. <laughs> this thing is great. I ain't messing with this one. So, this is weird. What are we in, Ryan? Uh, uh, um, a heaven dog. A heaven dog. It's a, it's a Dodge heaven dog. That's we got right. a little Hemi over there. Yeah, it's a, it's a Hellcat. So. There's that. Like, knew who the hell trusted you to drive this? I, yeah. I questioned her sanity too. It already stopped recording, apparently. The screen's flashing. Oh, no, it's going. It's just because your hand was there. If you cover that, it'll black it out. Well, I have no idea what I'm looking How at. How do I only. I don't know what key is it running on. This thing seriously have a little bit of loop in the cam from the factory. That's cool. Red key in use, okay. I didn't mean to do that, but I guess because yeah, it's here. Exactly. It's only on one. So when we die, it's inevitably gonna happen in this car. 
the low speed drivability really good in this which is kind of cool so the owner of this john winsco just got this thing so it's 1690 miles and he's already autocrossing it and it's already drag raced it and this thing is a little uh a little nerve-wracking to be in it's his wife's car actually so yeah this is interesting yeah Yes. <laughs> that was like a quarter throttle. Yeah, that was a quarter throttle. Back end stepped the back out, end just pop right out, and then it came right back by itself. Woo. I don't think between here and the event I have enough room to really. I'm gonna stop recording. Hit it. Okay. Well, education and screen. All right. So if you want to do like performance type stuff, mm -hmm. hit the SRT button. Oh, <laughs> that's interesting. It's almost like the uh, Forza damage indicators. Yeah, sort of. <laughs> Your brake glows red. Stop using brakes. Your engine's up to temperature. So, uh, like to change anything, hit the custom. Oh, wow. That's how I had it set up for autocross. Okay. But you can hit like, and then you could select everything you want. Ooh. That's interesting. Traction, sport, I'm assuming the more you go, the less nannies yes. happen. Yeah, uh, I ran into street at the, at the autocross, so it got a little squirrely, but... Not too bad. Little track suspension. So you can even go through the paddle shifters and... Just turn on or off. Hmm. Interesting. Change all that, and then if you hit, is there a race op race options? There's the track. I'll hit race options on the bottom. Oh god! There's launch control and a shift light lights up over there. For me. <laughs> yeah, I don't need any of that. That's um, a little. And then if you hit the performance pages in the top. Oh, they do have a valet mode that you can activate. Yes. I was curious about how if they had like actual valet key. Now, how does it lock the uh, valet? I've never tried it. Okay. I think with a pin. Okay, you had to do like a pin number. Yeah, but I've okay. never played with it. I was going to say, because that could get messy if it's just a matter of starting up. and. But yeah, there's all kinds of stuff on here, like uh, timers. Like a track timer. Yeah. That's cool. Let's see, like your best. Uh, G-forces. There we go. Shows you all your peak Gs. That thing's pretty cool. And then... Uh, this is kind of cool. I I don't know why you need it and or want it. Dino, I can't hit Dino, I can't hit Dino. Oh, there we go. Blip, oh. the, blip the throttle. <laughs> it's like okay. a live Dino of the car. That's kind of interesting. It's interesting, yeah, I'm not sure, like... That'd be cool if you, like, do a different exhaust and you see if it, like, changes the torque curve somewhere. That would be cool. Yeah, I like, even thought of that. Do back-to-back -back pulls and mm -hmm. it says history. I don't know if you can record You can screenshot it. Yeah. And then that's pretty much the same thing with the engine. It's just kind of... It shows you are going mile an hour power torque boost. That's cool. Gives you a lot of data for... For a stock system, but mm -hmm. I, like I do the gauges. Yeah. Uh, actually, home, I have it set up for the track, like drag racing. And then you have extra gauges over there. Intake temperatures and boost pressures. Okay, that's real cool. Right, I guess we're gonna head back over to the uh, all right, thing. And, all right. Yeah. I put the transit track. Yeah. Okay. It's just, I, I think it's cool. It's just, it's, yeah. It's like an old old school transit to shift get in it. Really, I gotta record again. Yes. I wanna actually enjoy the car, not stare at a fucking camera. Then don't fuck up and stare at the camera. It is the best way to get out of this place. Right. Bother everyone else. Super 
super paranoid about this. Yeah. Yeah, I want you to light them up. It's not even your car. <laughs> this thing's cool. Yeah. It's like so tame when you're not yeah. in it. It's just like... It's crazy they can get a 700 horse car like this to just idle that smooth and that mm -hmm. calmly and totally controllable around parking lots. was a I touched just touched 100% it's just like a boom and a little bit of a back off But so tame. Set you back in your seat pretty good. And it's automatic. Thank you. 